Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. A question that comes up a lot with my clients is, how do I compare two lists in Excel? And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Column A contains a list of employees and column E contains the names of the employees who've attended the Excel introduction training. The request from the head of HR is to display for each employee in column A the word yes or no in column B. The word that's displayed is dependent on whether the name in column A appears in column E. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. I used to use the match function but I've now found it easier to use the COUNTIF function. And in this video, I'll show you both. Let's start with the MATCH function. In B3, I've entered a MATCH function. And this function looks at what's in A3 and displays the position of that item in the range E3 to E12. In other words, Kyle Anderson is the seventh item in column E. The zero, by the way, means an exact match is required, and this is the most common type of match. But what if the name in column A doesn't exist? Well, I'll copy the formula down and show you. Now we get an NA. So yes, the match function kind of works if you interpret it as, if there's a number in column B, the person has attended the introduction course, but if there's an NA, they haven't. So it's a little bit unintuitive. It's a little bit messy. What I really want to say is yes or no down column B. To do this, the formula needs changing. And I've changed it here. I've used an if error function. The if error function allows you to provide an alternative to NA. So if I copy this formula down, if the match function results in an NA, display no instead. But that doesn't solve the yes part, because as I said, the if error will only provide an alternative to the NA. The way to get yes or no is to use a combination of if, is NA and match. In other words, if the match function displays an NA, then display no, otherwise display yes. If I copy that formula down, I now get exactly what I want. So if somebody's name appears in column A and in column E, if there is a match, then it will display yes. If it doesn't appear in both columns, it will generate an NA because that's what the match function does and that will display no. Now let's extend it a little. Column E contains the names of the employees who've attended the Excel introduction training, and column G contains the names of the employees who've attended the Excel advanced training. Some people have attended both courses. Some have attended just the introduction. One person's attended just the advanced, and some people haven't attended either. Now the request is to display for each employee yes or no to indicate whether someone has attended both courses. In other words, does the name in column A appear in E and G? So this is what I came up with. There may be a simpler way, and if anyone's come up with a simpler way using match, let me know in the comments. This one combines if, is NA, match, and or. There's actually two match functions. One checks whether the value in column A matches a value in column E, and the other does the same, but for column G. If either of the match functions returns NA, and that's what the OR function does, then return NO, otherwise return YES. So if I copy this formula down, now we get what we want. So it's not impossible to use the match function, but as I said, it's clients that ask me how to do it. It's one thing me doing it for them, it's another thing when they have to do it for themselves. 
So now when I'm asked, I actually recommend using COUNTIF. The COUNTIF function will count the number of times something appears in a range. So in this COUNTIF function, it tells me that Kyle Anderson appears once in E2 to E12. If I copy the formula down, what we're getting is a one or zero because each person has either not done the training or done it once, there will be a one or zero in column B. I can turn these ones and zeros into a yes or no by wrapping the COUNTIF function inside an IF function. So if the number of times a person's name appears is one, put yes, otherwise put no. Let me copy that down and that's what we get. But what if I want to know who's attended both courses? This is how I would do it. Basically, I would do two COUNTIF functions. One would compare column A with column E and the other would compare column A with column G and then I'd add the two values. That's the first step. It gives us the number. But I need to then modify the formula to generate a yes or no. By wrapping the whole formula inside an if, I'm saying if the count plus count is greater than one, put yes, otherwise put no. I then get what I want. And if I copy that down, we now have the correct value for every person. So that's two ways to compare columns. As I said, if you have a different way of doing it, let me know in the comments. I always find it interesting to see how people approach the same problem in Excel with different solutions. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. My free weekly newsletter is packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up to that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.